Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner in today's video. We just have a quick one for you. It's an update from flexpool.io. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Welcome. I just want to go over a quick post that came in from flexpool.io, one of the biggest Ethereum mining pools, not necessarily the biggest, but it's in one of the top and it's the primary one that I actually mine my entire farm to. And it is in regards to the Ethereum transition to proof of stake. So let me just read it to you real quick and paraphrase some of the items and then we'll discuss it. So the Ethereum and developers have confirmed that the merge transition of proof of stake for approximately September 10th through the 20th, initially they had posted the 15th on here because that is the projected date. The actual date is subject to change depending on the network hash rate. After the fork has happened, Ethereum will connect to the beacon chain, which is the proof of stake consensus layer, to the Ethereum mainnet, effectively replacing mining with staking. Ethereum will no longer be possible to mine after this has happened. We strongly advise setting the payment threshold to the lowest possible payout closer to the proof of stake transition to minimize the number of unpaid balances left. Post merge, we will continue the payout as usual. However, the network may be congested or unstable depending on how the merge goes. Polygon payouts will remain enabled. And then they talk about their support staff will continue to assist as best as possible but they expect a huge amount of questions and concerns to be pouring in so that could be delayed and slowed down they also stay if you intend to keep mining on their pool they would love to see you on their ethereum classic pool and they urge if you will plan to do that to go ahead and try to transition maybe a day or two prior to merge that way you're already switched over and you don't have any loss in mining time, any downtime. So they are telling you that if you're mining on this pool and you have manually set your payout threshold to a higher number, such as I have mine at 0.1 so that I get a payout every two days instead of a whole bunch of little payouts, they are saying to set it to their lowest minimum, which I believe is 0 0.01 Ethereum and that you will constantly get all your micro payouts clear up until the merge. The other side of that coin is what happens to the micro amount that is below the minimum payout? Do they end up paying that out? Do they end up keeping that from every single miner because that across their whole pool? Because I'm sure that will add up to quite the bag. That I don't know. So if you believe that, maybe you would set your threshold to two Ethereum or three or some high number that you won't hit. And then right after the merge or right before the merge, you change your minimum payout and back all the way down. And on that next round of payouts, you get every single piece that you earned. That could be risky. You could lose out on some that way. Maybe it doesn't let you go back and set the minimum how you would like and maybe there's some issue there and maybe it hangs and as they said the what if the merge doesn't go flawless is that going to hold up your balances are you going to even get those balances could something go catastrophically wrong and your ethereum balance gets out there in the ether somewhere it's all possible i just wanted to provide you with these couple of alternatives um, so either go clear to the minimum, stay the course with whatever you're set and hope that you can gather as much back as you can after the merge, set your payment threshold super high and then try to get every single bit after the merge. What are your plans? What are you going to do? Share with us down in the comments. Everybody wants to know. We appreciate the support. That's all I have for today. Let's go ahead and cut to that outro. Well, there you have it. That invisible clock, it just keeps ticking away, man. That merge is coming. Proof of stake is coming. What are your plans? What are you planning to do 
post ETH? What are you planning? Are you planning to move? What are you doing pre ETH? Are you going to liquidate the Ethereum or the bag that you have? Are you going to trade into something else? Let us know down in the comments. If you're new to mining, you need some help. Make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's always plenty of seasoned vets in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.